Beautiful Libra, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Andrea. Libra, I did sit in meditation and I received a couple of messages for you. I heard this beautiful voice saying, hey, you're going to wow them. You're going to surprise them. So, <laughs> it, it was a beautiful feeling. It was like this excitement, this uh, pleasant energy that I, that I received from your spirit guides. And what I'm getting that for some of you it's a career breakthrough and for others there is a romantic relationship that i feel for some of you it's in the beginning stages okay and you may feel a little bit shy or a little bit um more closed when it comes about your heart spirit is guiding you towards letting go towards shining bright towards showing that particular person who you are because you are going to wow them okay <laughs> that came through very beautifully okay well i'm going to move into the spread by the way i'm doing this reading on uh, the uh, lunar eclipse in pisces this would be on the 17th and so there's a need for me to to lay out this message libra you have been quietly working on yourself, on your skills, and now they are going to be recognized in a big way. I'm truly feeling like you are glowing. Your magnetic charm is, I don't know, it's at an all-time high, Libra. That's what I'm getting. Uh, so if you are feeling a little bit taken back or just a little bit shy or just a little bit afraid to show somebody your true essence and who you are. Spirit wants you to know that you are going to wow them, okay? You're going to sweep them off their feet with your presence, with who you are, with your essence. That's such a beautiful thing. Okay. Let's get into the spread. I'm using the Queen of the Moon Oracle. These cards, this deck wanted to work with me today. Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Blossoming. Yes! Look at that. You are blossoming. You are shining. And you are going to be recognized. Look at that. Number 33. This is, this is the number of mastery, of healing, of communication. And the number three is very artistic. It's very curious, right? It's very, um, it's very creative and charming. So, I love this energy. Self-love. Maybe you've been quietly working on yourself, working, working on bringing in a lot of self-love, unconditional love. And that shifted something in a major way for you. It, it feels internal. So, yeah, I'm feeling like the, it's like this major shining light that you have internally, that you've cultivated is now spreading outward. It's now spreading outside of yourself and people are noticing you. <laughs> Look, check it out. We have 33, brings down into a six and then we have six. So six, six, a very important number for you. Check out also angel number 66. The number six, the resonance of this number is very caring, nurturing, compassionate, protective and romantic. Okay, what's this? Wow, and 36. Look at that. So we have 33 and 6, which we can call it 36 and 36. Patience. I heard of the vortex, it's opening. Patience, it's coming. Patience. Um, for some of you, there is a major celebration. I think your birthday is coming up. For some of you, you are 36 years old. Or there's some special event that's happening for your birthday or somebody else's e special event, okay? It's funny because I'm getting romance and then I'm getting this, you know, job opportunity, job breakthrough. So let's see how this, how this plays out and then growth. Oh, <laughs> if you haven't checked uh, the, um, the lunar eclipse video that I've just done, uh, please do check it out. I feel there's a message there for you as well. And this card came through. We are growing, we are evolving, we are 
stepping in our power, we are seeing ourselves as the divine feminine and divine masculine balanced and integrated. And that's how we're going to co-create our lives, our lives from. So ground yourself, beautiful soul, because there's a lot of growth, there's a lot of abundance, <laughs> there's a lot of major opportunities and breakthroughs that I'm getting with you. What should I use? Okay, wow. This Angels and Ancestors Oracle message is very highlighted. Okay, what's this about? 36. I'm f I feel like this is a code that I need to that I need to unlock here with these numbers. Hmm. There's something with the color green as well. Uh, the color green may have a significant importance to you. It also takes me into the heart chakra, which is green. Healing is a representation of this color, but it may also just simply be your favorite color. Okay, ignite your passions. Wow. So I feel like you have been quietly working on something here. You have been quietly and patiently making space, growing your field, I heard. You have been patiently, knowingly, there will be this major breakthrough your way. Okay. You're not alone. Okay. There's a feather. For some of you, you're going to find a feather in a very unexpected place. Take it as a symbol and a message from spirit guides that this is the time, this is the moment for you to, I heard, break free. Break free. Huh. And also for you to use your talents and open up your heart space. Wow. What is this, Libra? I feel like you've reached a milestone. That's how it feels. And it's, it's this incredible fulfillment that's coming your way because you've done a lot of this self-love healing. One more. Intend and create. How beautiful. Wow. Wow. High priest. You are aligning with your intention and that's how you are creating your next breakthrough your next chapter that's how you are creating the life that you want to experience okay um, hold on a second your efforts will not only impress others but also align you with your purpose what you intend you're going to create what are you up to, Libra? <laughs> this is freaking amazing. Drop your shield, yes. Drop your shields. Um, truly shine from a place of vulnerability, from a place of profound honesty, profound transparency. Stand your ground. Mm -hmm. It's important for you to stay grounded. Release the old and rest. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get a chakra stone here. Let me see, one needs to, to come out here. I see, yes, this is your third eye chakra. This is about your intuition, your gut that's truly speaking to you. Deep down, you know what's coming your way. Deep down, what's coming your way, it's already confirmed to you because you are creating it. Huh. And somebody's seeing you once again. Somebody is truly captivated by you because you shine so bright. Look at that. Man or woman does not matter. Okay. Well, let's tune into the tarot spread. Look at that. A major breakthrough through healing. You've let something go. I heard final goodbye and the full. Risks, new beginnings, letting yourself experience. 
letting yourself move through life from a very childlike energy, flowy, light, expansive. Wow. It's funny because I wanted to do a reading earlier for you and Spirit Guide stopped me, told me that it's not the time. This feels very appropriate and aligned with the time that you are in right now, whenever you're going to watch this reading. And with the process that I feel there's a major process or timeline that you are moving out of and a breakthrough that you are moving into. <laughs> what? Let's see, Spirit Guides. I want to ask Spirit, what is the most important message that Libra needs to hear right now? King of Pentacles, money in, abundance. Also, <laughs> this may be you, King of Pentacles. Very extremely at peace with yourself, a lot of self-love. You may have also a pet. You may have an animal that you are extremely connected to. But this may be the person that looks at you. Look at this person. He's looking at something smiling, being captivated, right? Not even checking his pentacle, <laughs> right? And seeing you glow with self-confidence, right? Seeing you glow with this self-love. Hmm. I heard warmth and kindness. Somebody may tell you that your warmth and kindness is very attractive. What's the challenge in this energy? Ten of Swords, and we saw this card. Yes, there is a major chapter ending. There's a release here. And I feel like this release has a lot to do with how you see yourself. How you love yourself. There's an inner critic that I'm getting that may have kept your power and your light in the shadows. And now I feel you are finding the relief. You're finding... The breakthrough, you're integrating some important aspects of yourself here. You may let go, for example, of uh, a program of suffering or self-sacrifice. I feel this liberation with this card, like, finally, this energy is moving, it's flowing. Um, I'm now able to move on. There's this completion. We'll clarify this energy. What's coming to an end? Three of Swords, yeah. It can be somebody that broke your heart at some point and it may have taken a long time for you to come back to yourself, to come back to self-love. Somebody was indecisive, I heard. I don't feel that was you though. Tell me about the blind spot. Ace of Wands and Eight of Wands. There's the breakthrough. The blind spot is that this breakthrough is showing up. I heard 36 days for some of you. Mark your calendar, please. This breakthrough is showing up. And this is your third eye. The I see. Your third eye glowing. Your third eye being activated. Wow, I'm getting Kundalini rising as well. I'm feeling the Empress energy here, like a lot of nurturing and glowing and fertility. Um, and people, you know, your tribe is going to see you making waves, I heard. They're going to see how irresistible your energy is. I don't know why I'm doing this. You may have some Italian heritage. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Um, I'm a Gemini rising, by the way, so if you see me gesticulate and using my hands a lot, you know why now. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at that. The Empress. Yeah. There's this element of you growing wings, you letting yourself shine, you coming out of the shell, you coming out of the egg. Wow, what a reading, Libra. What's coming? Two of Swords. You may be at a crossroad regarding maybe rekindling something with somebody here. That's what I'm getting. We'll clarify. Let's see. Oof. 
injustice. Speak your truth. Know your truth. Serve. Serve divine justice. See, one of the beautiful things that I'm feeling here is that when we let ourselves integrate and transmute the traumas, the programs, the outdated beliefs that we've been hanging on for several lifetimes, and we come into this place of acceptance and surrender and freedom, when we deliver, deliver the truth to other people, when we let go of other people, when we put ourselves first and prioritize our happiness is no longer going to come from that fearful traumatic space where it's going to make you angry or it's going to make you lash out at somebody when you have that conversation or when you when you uh, are ready to let something go you're just happily lightly knowingly knowing that you have the truth and you know what you feel within yourself with the IC, right? Uh, using your intuition will help you say goodbye to that outdated belief or that person that in the past you may have had a lot of friction or a lot of anger towards. Now it's like, no, I have a lot of love towards you because you're a mirror of myself and now I've met my needs. And there's nothing that I'm looking outside, outside to receive or to, or to get from, right? And that is when the glow up is showing up. That is when your tribe and that beautiful person that you are resonating now because you've uh, changed your vibration, right? This is now when you're going to captivate that special somebody. You're going to show the world how amazing, how capable, how confident you are. That is when the breakthrough is showing up. Likely outcome. Yeah, Page of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. Look at that at the bottom, Six of Wands. <laughs> Victory, beautiful souls. Victory. You know, success, public recognition, and the admiration of others. Yeah, look at that strength. Knight of Cups, there you are. There's this, um, I, for some of you, it's somebody that's admiring you, and you may have maybe an idea, but you're not quite sure. For others, you know, you may be, you may be getting ready to meet this person on a more romantic level or you know just hanging out with this person at this po at this point to get to know this person and and I feel that you are captivated by them as well by this person so six of wands tells me that you stand out for your talents and charm <laughs> you are drawing a lot of positive attention okay and um I'm, I'm feeling this turning point in your life, Libra. It may be around your birthday. Page of Pentacles, stay open, right? Stay open to experience, to explore, and allow your heart to open up. Allow yourself to be available, I heard, and vulnerable. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just clarify one thing about this King of Pentacles and Three of Swords. And I'm going to take this, uh, this reading into part two, which will be extended. If you're interested in joining me a layer deeper or two with these cards, pretty incredible cards, then please check out the link in the description box, okay? Please like and subscribe, turn on the notification, and let me know how this is resonating with you. King of Pentacles. Four of Swords, Six of Cups, wow, I feel <laughs> the Chariot. For some of you, you've manifested this person, there's this beautiful resonance that I'm getting. This destined connection that it's now coming in. Uh, Six of Cups is memories, it's past memories as well, but for me also the Six of Cups uh, speaks about soulmates and somebody that has been has been your soulmate in other lifetimes now is showing up in this one and we have the chariot which is action it's alignment and it is victory beautiful soul so open up to this connection this may be the king of pentacles maybe this person that 
is admiring you so much and is going to be such a beautiful support and such a beautiful energy in your life. I feel a lot of love and admiration, both sides. Uh, also, we have Cancer here, so it may be a Cancer as well, or look at that, or Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or just somebody embodying embodying this energy. They don't have to be that zodiac sign, okay? Tell me about the Three of Swords. All right. Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're releasing a major headache, I heard. A major painful energy that you've kept within your heart that you maybe were not able to successfully let go until you've reached unconditional self-love, until you've seen yourself as whole. And with this death, we have a Scorpio here. There's this regeneration coming in. There's this major empty void space where the pot potentiality of everything, of new beginnings, starts showing up. One more. King of Cups, beautiful. So for some of you, I'm feeling this emotional healing that you have been going through. Uh, there's a lot of breakthroughs, Libra, that are going to show up. Look at that, look at the celebration. Once again, there's something occurring around your birthday. Pay attention to what dynamics are going to be exchanged. Spirit is asking you to let yourself shine really brightly. Okay, be confident in who you are, in this renewed sense of who you are, of self, okay? Bring the joy, bring the happiness, bring that amazing uh, positive energy forward and the universe will reward you, okay? And let's not forget the main, uh, the main message, you are going to wow them know that believe that and in closing i want you to ask a question and spirit guides will answer please ask a question out loud or in your mind and let's see what spirit has to say thank you ready okay meditation brings answers and i feel you've done that libra i feel like you've uh, you've have you have some kind of routine and that is why look at that every, all the cards are about shining look at that bright color which is the sun which is healing which is happiness which is clarity i'm telling you you are coming into your own libra it's beautiful and yes yes look at this person with the uh, the moon and the sun Major integration here, major balance, major truth, major justice. You're going to be recognized. You're going to be seen by the right people, I heard. And I don't see anything that you cannot do in this space. Thank you so much, Libra. I wish you nothing but the best. Once again, if you'd like to join me in the extended, you'll find the link in the description box down below. Love you. Ciao.